Welcome fellow KISS fans, welcome to It's All For You Demon, celebrating the fun of being a KISS fan. And tonight, fun is all we are going to talk about because tonight we are taking a look at the brand new book from Julian Gill, KISS FAQ, Mass Kisteria, the world tour of 1980 and 1981. Pee Wee, I was in first grade then. My history into this book is I love the machine of Kiss. Like that wishing you were a fly on the wall in a war room, listening to the business plot out like the next decision fascinates the crap out of me for any band. And it's very fascinating with Kiss because as we know, Kiss creates a lot of their own hype. So enter the Odyssey book by Julian Gill, which was an examination of music from the Elder. This book starts out speaking about what led to the Elder, and that was the Unmasked Tour Australia. And I love the Machine of Kiss so much, I even highlighted passages at the beginning of this book. The likes of Neil Bogart or Malcolm McLaren, Sex Pistols manager, would have been proud of the manufactured hype, affectionately referred to as Kisteria. It was most certainly a matter of selling the Australian public something that wasn't reflected in reality. Much of the excess was rooted in the need to maintain the mystique of the masked ban. And the Australian talk for the Odyssey book is very short. It's just a little prelude into the deep dive into The Elder, which is a fun read on its own, but I was way more excited for the Australian piece, given my love for all things Australia kiss. <laughs> And then enter this absolute beauty, Mask Hysteria World Tour 1980-81 to cover art by Claudio Bergaman, which is also available on his website as a poster called Unmasked 80. I will link his website below. Who was also the artist who created one of the greatest tributes to 80s metal ever. This wonderful painting of this hot ass metal chick listening to Animal Eyes. Man, there is nothing better. She's got the little animal eyes socks on there. Such a cool piece. Awesome posters in the background. Kiss, Judas Priest, Nikki Six, got the amp, the skull, Merciful Fate, Black Sabbath, Animal Eyes. Hot chick in her panties. You can't beat that. So let alone, I was super excited hearing the subject matter of this book and the cover. I was sold. And it was a shut up and take my money moment when I read the back of this book. 1980, a year of change for KISS and the KISS Army. Original band members lost, new band members gained, a tour scheduled and canceled, a record company collapsed, contract renegotiations with manager, and a mega deal with a new label. The year would pass in a blink of an eye, a whirlwind of hype and extravagance, a last stand of Super KISS. And in the aftermath, the stage was set for further changes, redefining the band for the 1980s and beyond. How could you not read that and think that this book is going to be anything less than amazing? This book is the definitive shut the world off, curl up in your bed, and escape to a wonderful world of kiss. And for me, a wonderful world of the machine of KISS. Now I'm not going to go page by page on this because I don't want to ruin it for anyone who hasn't bought this book. I'm just going to show you some of my favorite parts. And I think the reason I love this book so much is the word scrapbook because this is put together almost like a scrapbook and it is simply amazing. And like I said before, if I hammer this point home too much, I do not apologize because this is a look at the machine of KISS, the daily workings of a band that's in utter chaos at the moment. And it's done beautifully in this book. Per that scrapbook initiative, that vibe which you will see in the following pages. The pictures in this thing, man. Julian took it up a notch. He did an Emerald Lagasse on this. 
That was a multiple bam. The end of an era. Peter Chris marrying the, hello. You want me to get out of your way? What's going on? What you doing? So I'm gonna go sit right here. You continue your work. January 12th, one thing that not a lot of people talk about. Man, people need to talk about this a lot more. The Linda Carter performance of I Was Made For Loving You that was broadcast on CBS. You know, she wore that incredible outfit, Linda Carter, my God. Performed I Was Made For Loving You with guys dressed up as Kiss, very Las Vegas style. And no one talks about this. No one ever talks about this. And it's a wonderful clip cheesy as hell and also that outfit was worn by gene in the never too young to die movie trivia dan thompson and i used to sing the intro song to never too young to die at parties in college thinking uh, it was real funny and cool it had to be annoying but we thought it was funny we would just bust out singing the intro to that movie No wonder we didn't get a lot of girls. I cannot say enough good things about this book. This is a 10 out of 10 for me, A plus, must have if you are a KISS fan, especially like me. I love 1980, I love Australia, I love the machine of KISS, and this is like Christmas morning 
of all of those three things. Pee Wee gives her thumbs up as well. I guess Pee Wee doesn't have thumbs, but she would give her thumbs up as well. Mask Hysteria by Julian Gill. Excellent artwork by Claudio Bergman. You have to buy this. You have to add it to your collection. There's no argument about it. Pee Wee says it is a delicious ride. Thank you for hanging with us tonight. Thank you for waxing a little rock and roll nostalgia with us here in the Wax Night Basement. Be good to your babies. Spay, neuter, microchip. Take care. Be safe. Do we have a baby boops? No, we do not. We will talk to you soon. It's gonna rest your little head right there? Yeah. I'm just gonna rest here while you look through this amazing freaking book. <laughs> <laughs>